Hello there. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be covering the topic of low latency. Lower latency is a very big and important part of the of Fortnite. It is a part of building, editing, aiming, and I'll be showing you in today's video how to pretty much dissolve your input delay to nearly nothing. Thank you guys. 35 subscribers. We're growing pretty quickly. We're growing actually quite very quickly. And again if you want to subscribe to the channel my next video is going to be covering the new consoles the ps5 the P xbox one should you buy one or should you save a little bit more money up for a pc i will be covering that in my next video remember hit the subscribe turn on notifications so you get notified as soon as the video comes out and uh, make sure to like this video if it helped you it doesn't just help me it also helps other people out why is having really low input delay matter and the reason why it matters is to is editing and aiming what I want to show you right now is when you make a double edit the lower the input delay you have and the lower uh, ping does help of course but the lower input delay you have the easier it is to make that um, edit possible it's also going to improve your building it's going to improve your reaction time um, because you'll be able to literally your game will be able to react quicker with lower input delay all right now that i want to get into the second thing is the settings you should optimize for before i want to get into this quickly i want to just mention a few things i've downloaded four screen recorders and not one of them will go into davinci resolve not one recording so i devised a plan what i'm going to do is I'm half going to have to uh, download, so I'm gonna have to download this um, from my computer to my phone. Okay. Then I gotta re-upload it as a iMovie file back to my computer. Then put it in DaVinci Resolve. That's what I'm doing for you guys tonight. And boy, has it been a long process. So the least you could do is leave a like on the video just for that as well as other things but here we go right into the video now but stop from me complaining too much type in keyboard once you type in keyboard put all of these to fast every single one to fast see put them all to fast and this one to short then you press ok it's not ok but it will say it's ok anyway then we go to nvidia control panel See, it's an amazing thing. Go to the 3D, manage 3D settings, the programs. You go to global settings, go to low latency mode, and turn it on ultra. Click it, turn it on ultra, and click apply somewhere on the screen. Once you do that, open Fortnite, and you should have very low input today. You will see a massive difference, or more. You should definitely have this on, though. Use GPU crash debugging. Don't feel like it helps too much. I've crashed with it on, crashed with it off. I don't really see a difference. I turn it off. Latency markers have this on. I'll have to tell you why in a second. The video reflex low latency. I want. I went over this entire thing in my uh, couple videos ago. Um, you should check that out. It's gonna be right up on here if you haven't seen it already. But what this setting does really is it's it's weird because sometimes it feels like it gives you higher input delay. Sometimes it feels like it's getting lower. I explained it in my other video over to this um little icon right here that kind of looks like it has a triangle and stuff and you're gonna go down and you're gonna go down all the way to net debug stats turn that on but also latency debug stats turn that on and this is where it gets important because you have to turn latency markers on for this to work and it's the top left of the screen you can see right now i have 10 seconds of input delay if you are on controller i do not know this is a i do not know i do not know at all if this works Turn on generic PlayStation if you're on Xbox, turn on the opposite. Try it. I don't know if it works. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Um, maybe it's like a placebo. But now we have these this the latency debug stats. You can see if it goes up or down depending on that. And we'll see if it is right. So leave in the comment section if it is, then maybe in my future video or maybe in this one. The next video I will be covering is going to be console the console the new console will be covering different platforms 
and should you buy it should you consider buying a console or the xbox one x or playstation 5 should you be consider or should you just save up money uh, enough money to buy a pc that is what's going to be the topic in the next video and if you want to subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified as soon as that video comes out and i will without other way i will now roll the clips What? Controller player! That is a controller player! Again, if you enjoyed this video today, remember, you know what to do, leave a like on the video, and if you, you want to see my future videos, subscribe to the channel. I'm not sure why my snowball microphone sounds better now, I've dropped it like a few times, it's very strange, but, you know, it's very durable, which is good, I like durable, I like things that are durable, unlike pro controllers, they're not durable, um, keyboards are durable, mouses are durable, but without, I don't even know how I got into this subject. But again, if you liked today's video, remember, give it some love. And again, like always, God bless your day, and I will see you in the next one.